Many, many years ago, Brooke received lots of letters in the mail inviting her to participate in the National American Miss pageant. Normally, we wouldn't go, but this one particular year, we decided to give it a shot, and Brooke was so excited about it. So, we signed her up. During the tryouts, Brooke was informed by judges that she would need to have at least one or three prompts to participate in this act. She would have to describe herself, tell them more about her, and to show them their, her personality, okay? This was challenging for Brooke because this is her first pageant with no experience, no training, and we didn't have anything prepared. Being a smart girl that she is, she had a bright idea. So she whispered something in my ear. You won't believe what it was she decided to bring to the pageant competition. Time was ticking and the show was about to start. So the judges quickly kicked all the parents out of the room. We all had to get out so that the kids could go on and perform their acts. Brooke was prepared. She had her her little interview um, notes prepared, what to say and things like that. And she went out and got her prop. I brought it to her fast as I could. It was a jump rope. So Brooklyn did all kinds of jump rope acts like you wouldn't imagine. This was an awesome idea and it was so amazing that she quickly thought of this, right? The judges amazingly loved her. They ate it up. They really was thrilled with her performance and they invited her to come back. After the performance, Brooke was told to wait for a letter in the mail to come and that will let her know where she st stood in the pageant and so she waited patiently and eventually she did receive her letter certificate and a ribbon in the mail informing her that she was um, invited to come back and participate in the pageant as number 67 she gladly took her space and prepared for the final show. Unfortunately, her gown did not arrive in time for the pageant. So, this was a beautiful pageant gown that just sat home without a purpose. Gratefully, her godmother had just bought her a gown for Christmas so she could replace the gown for that dress she got from her godmother and wore that in place of the gown and it didn't stop anything because she still won a trophy she was still able to participate and continue all of the other activities so it turned out to be really good success brooke didn't let this mishap discourage her so she continued to follow her dream of acting and soon enough other people and the right people started to notice her as well and they wanted her to participate in their projects and be a part of it. Brooke then started to venture into entrepreneur things like fundraising, help run, raising money at schools for fundraisers. She always did very well with that. She also had a great time doing lemonade stands, selling lemonade, and people from all around the neighborhood would just come and participate. Even police, like, Everyone supported Brooke. She's just a bubbly, beautiful little girl, just full of energy. And she loved to cook. She loved baking, treats. And she really had a passion for taking care of animals. She used to want to be a veterinarian. But, yeah, she just loved animals. All kinds. Fish, dog, bunnies, cats, you name it. She also had a green thumb, and she loved to make her own jewelry. But acting was her absolute favorite, okay? So she knew that this is something that she really, really wanted to do. So she would role play with dolls, My Little Pony, My Little's Pet Shops, Barbie. Okay, and she like even started her own social media account. So she created a TikTok channel 
a YouTube channel and she had thousands, hundreds and thousands of followers, even close to a million views, okay? So she did very well with that and she went on to continue that role and very, very successful. So I knew that Brooke was special when she got that jump rope. She was ill-prepared, but she did not let that stop her. She did not give up on her dream, and she continued to reach lots of success. So let that be the reason why no one else continues to give up. Because, you know, you just never know how things may turn out. <laughs>